Okay, welcome. I'm Mark Paquette. I'm the Executive Director of the Wyndham Region Council of Governments. And we're here to talk about the Airline Trail North Resurfacing Project uh, through the towns of Wyndham, Chapman, and Hampton. Um, with me today, from the Department of Environmental and Energy, Lori Giannotti. Yes. Lori oversees the trails. She'll answer some of our questions. And DEEP is really the lead agency on making this project go along with DOT. Laurie? Yep. Yes, that is true. Um, yep. We also have Mark Jewell. He is with VHB. They are the consultant for the state of Connecticut on all Transportation Enhancement Act funding. Mark, please correct me if I'm incorrect. And uh, they oversee, VHB oversees all the state projects that have this type of funding and are the liaison between the towns, he and other entities for those projects. So he kind of sits here with the DOT hat on. So if you think of what's DOT, uh, Mark is kind of direct connection to DOT. Because these are transportation funds that we're using for the trail. Um, who else? Uh, Steve O'Neill. Steve's uh, from DHB as well. I think we got Joe Gardner, the town engineer from Wyndham. Joe will oversee uh, the project on the Wyndham side in terms of technicalities and all the great stuff that goes on on the Wyndham side. I know that uh, Bill Rose will be here shortly to first left for the chapel. But here's, the, here's what we're going to need to do. Everyone one side in because this is a meeting of record. We give it to the state to show that we really got some input. Uh, this is really an informational meeting. I've only got like 10 or 11 slides and I won't spend a lot of time on them. I'll give you the basic information. And we'll stop, and then you can ask us some questions or suggestions. And Lori, myself, and Mark will try to answer all your questions. And we will keep a record of the questions tonight that will go forward to the state about the project. Lori, Mark, have I missed anything yet? So the first thing, I did introductions. We're going to see a little PowerPoint, and then we'll get comments back from you. And uh, that's really the agenda for this evening's uh, event. So I'll get started. This is the state project number. And it's Wyndham Chaplin in Hampton. Um, I introduced uh, Mark, Andy Carey also works with him, Laurie, uh, Laurie Lindquist, who's an airline state park supervisor. I believe she'll be out on the, on the trail a lot with the project once we start doing this. So Laurie's kind of the feet on the street for the deep for this project. Uh, Bill Ferneman, he's the conservation officer. We've actually heard some concerns about ATVs and things on the trail, so, so we asked the state conservation officer to come and speak to you about that as well. And, and I'm Mark Paquette from the Wyndham Region Council of Governments. Uh, normally, we would do this in each town, but the state said that we could do a regional meeting, Wyndham Chapman and Hampton, so I volunteered, put my hand up, and said, uh, I'll organize it and, and we'll keep it going so that we can get this done. Actually, we're going to do this in the fall. We have to. So, here we go. Um, I just gave you a, a East Coast Greenway map in Connecticut. For those of you that go home and want to learn a little bit more about East Coast Greenway, eastcoastgreenway.org on the internet. All kinds of good stuff, maps. Even if you want to bike or walk somewhere, you have cue sheets. So this is a really neat. Um, I wanted to note some recent Connecticut Trail accomplishments. The first one here is uh, up in Pomfret. Do you know where the airline trail is in, what, 169? So is that, am I right? Where the ant used to be, I'm, I'm a local, there was a big black ant, well this replaced the ant. <laughs> and it's right on the airline trail, it's really nice. And, and uh, they just put this in uh, about two years ago. All right, we went off. Uh, many of you travel Route 6, have probably <laughs> seen the bridge over in Andover, big deal. That's on the Hopper Estate Park Trail that connects into Willimantic. And then this other thing is an event we just did a couple weeks ago uh, Lori's boss, the deep commissioner, and several other of us from the East Coast Greenway and throughout the state rode from New Haven to the Massachusetts line on the Farmington Canal section. And if you look at my map, it's the section that runs in western Connecticut um, that runs pretty much straight up and then starts to cut over. Um, and here's our primary project area, and I really got some better maps, so if you haven't seen them, Come on up, because we really start right on 2.0 in, in Wyndham. So it's really a small section in Wyndham. Uh, we go all the way through Chaplin. 
And I've denoted some of the roads they cross so some of you can get a visual where, where we go. But most of you probably know where the rail trail is through here. And then all the way up through Hampton to the Plantford Town Line. Now, NECOD, the Northeast Council of Governments, in their towns are continuing the same project. And in fact, when we talk about the pot of money that they're going to talk about later, that pot of money is for all of this, our three towns and the NECOD towns, to just do resurfacing. We're really not getting into trail structures, bridges, or things like this. This is really the stone dust, but also some grading to make sure we get some good drainage. We don't want to put the bit, that down without a good base. But other than that, it's about the resurfacing only. Of the airline, and you all know that the airline trail, that whole corridor, how many feet, Joe? 150? Old rail bend is, is still all owned by the state. That is all still state property. Huh? With yeah. ones. Next, uh, we're limited to the airline trail north. The deep is going to provide the labor. They're going to go out and do the project. They're going to provide the stone dust and the materials. They have talked to a couple of the first selectmen. Like Bill, Bill Rose just walked in. Bill, please stand up. First selectman and chaplain. Uh, they, have, they will be talking and working with each one of the towns, first selectmen, uh, public works people, and in, in, in organizing things and getting in and out. So. Yeah, here's our project costs, and Mark Jewell can give us any more detail. 836,000 from all from Wyndham all the way to the Mass Line, and if you see on this one, it's it's more on this one here, pretty much up through Tottenham, and there's a little section that just gets up to the Mass border. So here, all the way down into Wyndham by 203. Uh, federal funds. These are federal transportation TA funds. It's called Transportation Alternatives. For the older folks in the room like me, this was ICE-T funds and T funds early on. The new MAP-21 federal transportation legislation calls it Transportation Alternative Funding. So we're going from ICE-T to T to TA, little acronyms. Um, and there are no municipal funds involved. There is, there's no cost to the towns uh, for this. And uh, Mark did these figures for me, and it comes to like 36000 per mile. Now we know when we go from speaking from the East Coast Greenway, when we go into an urban environment, and we, we do a lot of urban environments as well on the trail throughout the East Coast, it's more than a million dollars per mile in the urban environment due to land acquisition, paving, structures, the whole thing. So it's really expensive. This is really good bang for the buck here in Eastern Connecticut in terms of getting a recreational multi-use trail on the ground where you can walk, bike, ride horses, and uh, uh, for a really good value. Next, uh, I put the mileage down pretty close. Don't hold me to it. If I'm off, I might be a little off. It's really only 0.6 miles in Wyndham, 3.38 uh, miles in Chaplin, and 6.7 miles in Hampton. Going to take a few turns and zigzags as you know the trail goes. Uh, we just showed the existing conditions. I actually took this, and someone mentioned this. They did a little bridge under Route 6 there just before in Hampton there. Um, this is that road leading in. So it's pretty wet and really needs to be fixed up. And, uh, and that's what this project's about, fixing those type of sections. That's just one example. Now, and I gave you what, it, what it, here's the picture we want it to look like. And this is actually up in, uh, I ride this section twice a week. It's up in Bolton, it's off of Route 6, parallel Route 6, get off of uh, Burnett Brook Road, take a right, right up through here, that's exactly what you'll see. Stone dust through, uh, you know, rural sections of, of, of the forest. What are we doing? It's about clearing, regrading, cleaning and maintaining the drainage. You know what? I always say this, I've been on this trail for so much and I've ridden so long. We would never be able to build something like this nowadays. The railroads that built this, when they, in the 1800s, late 1800s, it was amazing what they did, the cut and fill and all that. So what I'm going to do is the base is there, the drainage just needs to be cleaned up a bit. There's not a lot that needs to be done. The railroads really, really built a great base here. Um, over the years, it's degraded a little, needs a little fixing, a little grading, but there's nothing major. And I think Joe, uh, Wyndham's done a few sections and, and uh, they're pretty and Bill's been working on their section too because they've been doing some clearing in there. That, that, that rail bed is quite the bed. So anyways, and resurfacing. We're not getting into big structures. We're not getting into bridges. Uh, there's not, not enough funds in this grant. And that's not the intent of it. 
Laura and Mark 